up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to start our lesson for Revit Architecture 2022. Okay, so the first topic that we are going to discuss is we are going to learn how to create the topographical surface of our model. Okay, so we will be doing this by importing our CAD drawing inside the Revit. And then we are going to convert that into a topo surface. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So this is for uh, beginners. Okay, so of course, if you are already advanced users, you should be able to know how this one works. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is I'm going to create a new project. And then we need to select the template file. So we will be using an architectural template. And then I'm going to select here. Okay right okay and then after that on our project so we are now going to start to import our CAD drawing so from the insert tab so you can click there import CAD so you can click that one and then after that so I will be importing the site plan that I will be using which is this one okay so I would like to preserve the color here so that's why on the colors, I'll just select preserve. We have other options here like invert. So what it does is it changes the dark colors to uh, light colors and then light colors to dark colors. Okay. And then the third one here is black and white. So basically it will make your CAD drawing uh, plain uh, black and white. Okay. But in my case, I'll just use preserve here. And then you also have an option here if you want to show your imported CAD drawing only in the view where you have imported it or if you want to show that as well in the 3D view. So if you want to show your CAD drawing in the 3D view as well aside from the floor plan where you are importing it, you can just uncheck current view only. Okay? And then we also have positioning here for your uh, imported CAD file. So in my case, I'll just use uh, auto origin to internal origin. And then I'll be using all the layers, auto detect for the import units. And then I'll just use uh, level zero. I'm going to place that at level zero. Okay, so let's do this. So let's select this one. And then I'm going to select here open. Okay, and there you go. Just zoom out. And then as you can see here, my model is a little off from the center of my uh, elevations here. So these four icons or elements that you are seeing here, these are the elevation. Okay, so if you want to open the elevation view, you just simply click that area of your elevation view. So as you can see, every time you hover your pointer, it tells you what is that elevation. So meaning if you double click this uh, part here, so it will open up the elevation west. If you open up this part here, it will open up the south. Oh, I mean the north elevation and so on and so forth. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the imported CAD file. And then I'm going to unpin that. So what I would like to do is I would like to drag this. And maybe just approximately place it at the center of my for elevation something like that and then proceed on pinning it again so that you do not move your CAD drawing accidentally okay so it's a best practice now um, by the way if you want to get all the exercises files that I am using in my uh, tutorial so you can go to my website you can go here just a quick uh, commercial before I proceed you can go to this um, website and then you can check out the training files and then you will be able to avail these exercise files that I'm using in all of my videos I have the architecture structure MEP Navis works as well as well as the examination uh, reviewers and files okay but let me just close that one let's do it Okay, so after we import our CAD drawing, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to convert this into a topo surface. So to do that, let me just change my view to the 3D. So I'm going to click default 3D view or 
from the project browser, you can expand 3D views, and then you can double click the 3D. Just double click that, and this is now your imported CAD drawing. So now we are going to convert this to a topo surface. So let's go to the massing inside, and then let's look for the topo surface. Okay, so it's on the model side topo surface just click that and then from the tools panel instead of placing the points manually for the topo surface we will be using create from import so you click the drop down arrow and then we are going to use select import instance so just click that one and then let's proceed on selecting our imported CAD file click that and then on the add points from selected layers dialog box here you can see all the layers on that particular CAD file we are not going to import all of this so that's why I'm gonna select your check none and then I just want the C topo major and minor okay so just tick that two layers and then just select OK and that's it there you go so that's now your topo surface and don't forget to go to the surface panel and then finish the surface okay from the modify edit surface contextual tab check that one finish surface click and there you go okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hide the imported CAD file for me to be able to see my topo surface clearly okay so i'm gonna go to the properties view properties so you look for the visibility graphic overrides click the edit to open up the visibility graphic overrides for 3d view or you can just simply type vv victor victor okay you can type that vv and then it will open up the visibility graphics override take note that the visibility graphic overrides it only affect the current view okay so our current view here is 3d so let's say for example you turn off the topography here it will only turn off on the 3D view. It will not turn off from the level 1, site plan, level 0, or whatever view uh, this topo surface can be seen. Okay? So if I turn off the topo surface, it will only affect your current view, which is 3D. So that's how the visibility graphic overrides work. Okay, but our imported CAD CAD file cannot be seen on the model categories, annotation categories, analytical, but it can be seen here on the imported categories. And that's the CAD drawing. Okay, so I'm going to uncheck the site plan drawing. I do not want the visibility and then I'll just proceed on selecting OK. And there you go. And I do not want to see that uh, levels as well. So going back to my visibility graphic overrides. So these uh, levels here can be controlled on the annotation category. So go to that tab and then look for levels. Just uncheck that. Then select OK. Then there you go. And here's now your uh, top of surface. Now what I'm going to do is from the properties without selecting any elements on the view, from the properties, I'm going to check section box. So you click that one, and then it will open up the section box. So this will allow you to adjust the cropping of your uh, top of surface. So from the top view of my view cube, I'm going to click that. I'm going to click this control here. I'm just going to adjust it just on that particular side so the exact location is not critical in this exercise so just enough to crop a little part of the topo surface okay and then i'm going to click the 3d view again the house and then here you can now see the sides of your clearly the sides of your topo, sur topo surface by the way you can hold the shift on your keyboard and then hold the middle button of your mouse to orbit your model like that. Okay. Then I'm going to click the section box. So maybe I'm going to pull this below. 
and click outside and there you go okay so at least you can now see the sides of your topo surface and then i'm going to hide now the topo surface oh i mean the section box so to do that click the section box right click and then hide in view elements all right so just click that one and there you go so it's now hidden and then click again the home button for the 3d view and that's it okay so that's how you create your topo surface using a cad file okay so that's it for our first lesson so thank you for watching guys have a nice day